Maybe the worst part of using a computer is getting your thoughts onto the digital page, aka typing. But now a collaboration of researchers from several universities and medical research centers have developed a microchip that can be inserted into your brain that lets you type hands-free. The chip is able to capture electrical signals in your brain that are often associated with handwriting. But rather than being transcribed onto paper, the signals are converted into letters on a screen instead. Dr. Frank Willett, one of the study's authors, had this to say about the technology. This new system uses both the rich neural activity recorded by intracortical electrodes and the power of language models that went up applied to the neurally decoded letters can create rapid and accurate text. So just how fast? The researchers say about as fast as someone of equal age typing on a smartphone. That's leagues faster than previous accessibility options for the typing impaired, which were clocked at only around 40 characters a minute. But of course, this is a bit more invasive. The implant involves placing two tiny electrodes into part of the brain's motor cortex. The new tech is all part of the BrainGate collaboration, an endeavor to advance brain-computer interfaces. Technology amazing. I've just had the um, whole food silicon chip inserted in my head. It's a very, very small incision. It is prone to infection, but it's all right. Um, I mean, so I don't have to take my credit card with me or any cash. I just have the, the big slot in my head, and it just when I go through the, the turnstile, as you can see, I don't have to pay with cash. There's absolutely no transaction. The surgeon who did the work on me, it was yeah, it was a, a lot of money, but at least it's the convenience of not having to carry my purse with me and just having the convenience of having having the surgery. Yeah, it's a bit of a commitment, but now I can just go to Whole Foods anytime. Doesn't matter if I don't have money on me or if I forget my purse. I'll always have the incision with a silicon Whole Foods chip in there, and I highly recommend it. It's the way technology is going. Digital twin that you'll be able to go into the metaverse, into a virtual reality world, turn a dial, pull a switch, feel around, and actually change it in the real oh, plant. Absolutely, absolutely, and this is not this is not far far off. I mean, the physical and the digital worlds they will grow together, and the result is exactly what you just said. I wanted to ask when you all think we're going to move from this form factor to something that's on your face, glasses, and comp when computing's all on the edge. All right, fifty seconds. Who wants to answer? Quickly. I think it will go, it will, first of all, it will definitely happen, but by talking about earlier, which is around 2030, I would say that by then, definitely the smartphones we know it today will not anymore be the usual, kind of the most common interface. Wow. Is the, you know, these things will be built directly into our, our, our bodies. You know, these things will be built directly into our, our, our bodies. You know, these things will be built directly into our, our, our bodies. Can you imagine that in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains, and um, I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants. Hello, Bethany speaking. Hello. You phoning for Bethany? Yes. What are you doing? This is Bethany. Can you hear me? Well, you're right in front of me. But can you hear me down the phone? This is me. On the phone, I had it implanted. My hand is the phone. I can walk and talk because I'm on the phone, the phone inside my hand. I am the phone. This is what phones are going to be from now on. I've integrated. Thank you for your call. Subdermal implants. They charge himself with motion like a self-winding watch. And it's on the 22 network. I get signal across 95% of UK mainland, 98 by next year. When I phoned you, it was ringing. You were ringing. That's the speaker. So small. 